Magandang umaga, Pilipinas, at sa lahat ng mga Pilipino saan man sulok ng mundo. Greetings from the Seven Wonders City of Bigan, Ilocosur. This is now the sixth episode of our Life Point Daily Program. And I want to say happy weekend sa bawat sa atin. It's May 9, 2020. And it's a great time to start this weekend with the Word of God and alam na, a cup of coffee. Ito po ang inyong Life Coach Rome na nagsasabing ang punto ng buhay mo ay buhay na nakapunto kay Kristo. The point of your life is a life pointed to Christ. You can watch me daily on my YouTube channel for a 10-minute devotion for us to be encouraged and enlightened, inspired, and even grow closer to our mighty God. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell button down below. I want to start with a question. Frontliner ka ba? Kung ikaw ay isang frontliner ngayon, this message is for you. During this time of uncertainties, sino kaya ang pwede nating lapitan? Sino kaya ang pwede nating lapitan? This morning, I want to talk about God's empowering presence. Yesterday, we have seen God's refreshing presence or in Tinuruan tayo ng salita ng Panginoon to repent of our sins, turn from our wicked ways, and return to our mighty God and His presence. And in that way, mararamdaman natin mga kapatid ang presensya ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Ladies and gentlemen, awareness of God's presence energizes us. It empowers us to continue trusting the Lord no matter what. Trusting sa kanyang napakalaking plano sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin, even in times of uncertainties. Napakalaking hamon sa bawat isa sa atin na kung tayo ay magpapatuloy ba, nakakapit sa ating Panginoon, sa mga pangyayari sa ating panahon. Now, I want to dedicate this message to all our frontliners. And I want to take this opportunity to say thank you. Thank you for sacrificing your time, risking your lives, para lamang mabantayan ang mga tao, magamot ang mga nakapita ng sakit ng, ng COVID-19, I salute you guys. You are our heroes. I want to dedicate this passage of the scripture to each and every one of you. In Jeremiah chapter number 1, verse number 6, this is the story of Jeremiah when God called him to work in the ministry. And he said, then I said, Alas, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, because I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, because everywhere I send you, you shall go. And all that I command you, you shall speak. Verse number 8, he said to Jeremiah, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to what? To deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord stretched out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. Huwag ka lang matakot, sabi niya. And verse number 10, See, I have appointed you this day over the nations and over the kingdoms to pluck up and to break down, to destroy, and to overthrow, to build, and to plan. May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. Sa aming mga mahal na frontliners, 
God is encouraging us today of His empowering presence. Napakalaki ang plano ng Panginoon sa ating buhay, especially sa inyong mga frontliners. Huwag sana tayong matakot. Yes, there are uncertainties. Paglabas nun yung inyong mga tahanan, alam ko na merong pangamba. Alam ko na merong takot sa bawat isa sa inyo. Mga doctors, mga health workers, mga barangay officials, mga Philippine National Police, our military, BFP, mga, mga, mga officials sa ating government, nagsasakripisyo kayo at maraming maraming salamat. And I want to encourage you guys, keep on keeping on. Maging matatag kayo because we believe on the empowering presence of the mighty God. And He is telling you today, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just go ahead and follow the calling of God in your life. Be faithful because ang Panginoon ang magbabantay sa inyo. Ang Panginoon ang magbabantay even sa inyong mga pamilya. Yung mga iniiwanan yung pamilya nyo. God will be there for you. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid of them, the Bible says. For I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Ang kalaban natin ngayon ay hindi po natin nakikita. Kaya ang pinakamagandang gawin po natin is tayo po ay manatili sa presensya ng Panginoon. Let us do the will of God in our lives. God will be with you no matter what. Wherever you go, yung presensya ng Panginoon ay nasa inyo. At sinasabi niya sa inyo, do not be afraid. Why? Verse number 9, Then the Lord stretched out His hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. And in verse then, see, I have appointed you this day. God has appointed you for that work, for that calling. So don't be afraid. Just go and be a blessing to our nation. Just go and help other people. Kailangan namin kayo. Maraming maraming salamat for your sacrifices. And it is our prayer that God will bless you with His protection. God will bless your families with His protection, with His love, and God will provide everything that you need. Just trust His presence. Hindi man natin nakikita ang Panginoon, but He is there with us. Especially, kung ngayong hapon na ito, kung ngayong umagang ito, ay bubuksan mo ang iyong puso at tanggapin mo siya bilang sarili mong tagapagligtas at Panginoon. In order for us to have the presence of God in our lives, open your heart for Jesus because Jesus is the answer sa lahat ng ating mga questions sa buhay. Kung tatanggapin mo siya ngayon bilang sarili mong tagapagligtas, you will never be afraid. Why? Because God will be with you. I don't want to end this message without giving you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. You know what? Jesus Christ or God loves you so much. He said in His Word in John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. He died on the cross for you and He wants to come to you. He wants to come in into your heart at ililigtas ka niya. If you want to receive Christ today, follow me with this prayer. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross. Thank you for your love. I acknowledge that I am a sinner and I cannot save myself. I believe on Jesus that He alone can save me 
and he, he will give me God's presence. I now open my heart for Jesus and receive him as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, for the great salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. If you follow that simple prayer, just believe that you are now born again. You are now a child of God. At ang gusto ng Panginoon is for us to grow in our faith. That's why I want to encourage you to listen to the Word of God. Just visit my my uh, my YouTube channel and grow. Just listen. Just listen and watch sa, sa salita ng Panginoon. And I believe you will grow up in your faith to God. Ito po ang inyong life coach, Rome, na nagsasabing, ang punto ng buhay mo ay buhay na nakapunto kay Kristo. The point of your life is a life pointed to Christ. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell button down below. God bless you all.